Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Weber with Ryan Weber Training. In today's video, we're gonna talk about seven things. That's right, seven things to do every day to make sure you're losing weight as fast as possible. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, welcome back. All right, I am your host, Ryan Weber with Ryan Weber Training. And this is the channel that if you have not liked or please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you like the videos. We give you guys a ton of free value. Free value, things you can start taking and the moment you watch this video, implement into your life right now so you can absolutely start becoming the best version of yourself. It's not just health, it's mindset, it's lifestyle, it's confidence. And uh, I'm excited about today. Today's gonna be a good one. So. Do this every single day to lose weight. I actually have seven tips, seven tips I'm gonna share with you guys right now that are very easy, anybody can do them. It only takes a, a couple of minutes to actually implement them into your day. So here we go guys. Tip number one, I want you to alkalize your body. So what does alkalize mean? Your body has a pH balance. You're either gonna be al uh, alkaline or you're going to be acidic. Now everybody's body is slightly alkaline. It's a very small uh, amount on the scale that, uh, that, that it moves. Moves. If it were to move slightly more alkaline or slightly less to the acidic realm, you can actually become septic and die. I don't want to get into too many of the specifics, but your body is very, very good at regulating this. So even people who have more of an acid lifestyle, an acid lifestyle comes from eating crappy foods, stress, overworking the body, uh, not cleansing and detoxifying, things build up and become more acidic. So even people who live a more unhealthy lifestyle, your body has alkaline reserves. The thing is, when you're older, to kind of put this into context, think of somebody who has arthritis or they have that you know hunching over of the spine or they're constantly sick. It's because they basically depleted their body's alkalinity. Uh, br very brittle bones, because bones is one of the places your body can actually break down the calcium and get more alkaline. So how do we do this without compromising ourselves? Very simple, guys. For one, drink a lot of water. Water will flush out the acid, water is gonna flush out the impurities, it's gonna flush out the toxins, it's gonna allow your body to thrive in a more alkaline environment. Uh, on top of that, you can actually drink alkaline water. You can get it from the grocery store. Uh, pH, usually when they sell it, it was like 8.9 or higher. Uh, Essentia is one that comes off the top of my head. Uh, Diamond Creek is another one. Those, both of those are really good. And you can also get an ionized water system. You can look those up online to learn more about that, and that will help. Greens powders, so supplements. If you have a hard time eating a lot of greens and vegetables in your diet, you can actually supplement with greens powders, like wheatgrass, uh, spirulina. There's so many different things uh, chlorella, you know, different greens powders, you know, combinations, so many different things you can choose from that are actually extremely affordable. You can get them at the grocery stores, you can get them online, you can get them at health and food stores. It really kind of just depends. And then the last thing is just food. You know, the more green vegetables you can eat, um, cold pressed oils, nuts, you know, the more things you can stay away from. So for example, those are the things you want to eat more of. The things you want to stay away from is just eating protein all the time. Now I talk about protein for building muscle and increasing metabolism, which is right, it's appropriate, but you got to have the other right foods. Eating carbohydrates all the time. You know, you have to have other foods. Um, eating fats all the time even. So if fats, proteins, and carbs are all actually more acidic, you know, your best option is gonna be vegetables. And I know for a fact, probably myself included, that we do not eat or take in enough vegetables. So here's why, you know, the alkaline water, drinking more water, drinking lemon water, because that's a way to get more alkalinity into your body. Getting the supplements, the green supplements, the greens powder, doing that a couple of times a day is gonna greatly enhance your body's ability to increase the alkalinity and allows you to get the other crap and the acids and things out. The next thing I want you guys to do is I want you to increase your healthy bacteria. Ryan, what the heck does that mean? Yeah, gut health. Gut health is so important, guys. You will digest food better. You will sleep better. You will think more clearly. You'll be an emotionally more stable person. There's so many things that are tied to our gut, our immune system that people just really take this one for granted. So how do we do it? To give you guys a, uh, a quick idea, taking probiotics. Probiotics is a healthy form of bacteria. It's gonna colonize in your gut, and it's gonna help you do all the things that I stated at the beginning. Prebiotics, prebiotics mixed with fiber. So prebiotics, you know, asparagus, 
oatmeal, uh, fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut. You know, some of these things may not taste that great to some people, but I guarantee if you just do a little bit every single day, over time you'll grow to like it and the health benefits are absolutely amazing and they're essential if you want to be the best version of yourself. And uh, kombucha. Kombucha is something, it's a fermented drink. You know, there's another one, Kavita. I think it's like a sparkling probiotic drink. I think that's the name of it. Both of those are really good. You can find them in low sugar options. So, you know, sometimes these foods will have sugars in them. They're going to be naturally occurring sugar. Sometimes they add a little bit of sugar. If it's a naturally occurring sugar, and I'll talk about this in another video, it's not going to be as bad per se as just taking, you know, raw sugar. And people can argue on that. That's totally fine. Another video, I'll go into more of the science about that. But just trust me right now when I say kombucha, even if it has a little bit of sugar, it's still going to be something very good for your gut. The next thing I want you guys to do is avoid processed foods. So we all know, or we should know at this point, that eating fast food every single day, all day, is really not the ideal way to get yourself into good shape. So if we're trying to do things every single day, it's going to allow us to you know, burn off that unwanted fat and increase some more lean muscle mass. One of the things you want to avoid is eating processed foods. And it's not even so much the, the sugar that's the worst thing in the processed foods. You guys, it's the artificially enhanced and hydrogenated oils and fats. Those are so difficult for your body to break down. And I won't want to go into all the science here again on this one, but they can ask, actually disrupt the cells and cellular layers of your body and cause a lot, of confu uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of miscommunication between cells. So look that up online. Just talk about you know bad oils for your body and cells and things are gonna pop up and you can see what I'm talking about so you can do your own research. Number four, this one's gonna be really simple guys and it's something you hear me talk about all the time is obviously you want to exercise. You want to increase your lean muscle mass. To be very specific, I'm not talking about becoming a bodybuilder, I'm not talking about bulking up and gaining a whole bunch of muscle mass. You want to increase our lean muscle mass. Very simply put, someone who increases lean muscle mass and they're actually you know, getting their body, they're, they're, they're burning more fat, they're increasing lean muscle mass, to most people, they may not even see the difference. You are going to see the difference over time, and over time people are going to see the difference, but sometimes it's just a minor change. You may not even change weight, your weight may not fluctuate that much, your, your look may not even change that much. In the beginning, it will over time, but by increasing lean muscle mass, you're essentially increasing your body's metabolism and the ability to burn more calories. It's so important. Exercise. You know, even if you just start out 15 minutes a day, three times a week, whatever you got to do, something is better than nothing. And I guarantee the more you do it, you're going to feel a heck of a lot better. Those endorphins are going to kick in. You're going to be happy and glad that you did it. And you're going to keep on going. You're going to find more time to make this a reality. Number five, I want you to reframe your objective. Ryan, reframe objectives. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to go a little bit more psych uh, psychological here with you guys. So reframe the objective. So for instance, um, what if you were to walk around to say, hey, what if it were easy? So when you think about losing weight, when you're thinking about getting in shape, when you think about doing anything you don't want to do, if you just pause and ask yourself the question, hey, what if it were easy? Well, what if it were? Now, when you ask yourself a question, I've talked about this in other videos, you don't have to know the answer right away. This is a very simple tactic, mind hack, anybody can use, but the psychology in this one actually runs very deep. So what if it were easy to lose weight? What if it were easy to eat healthy? What if it were easy to sleep better? You can ask, what if it were easy to make more money? You can use, what if it were easy to do absolutely anything? Just what if it were easy? Insert what it is you want. Right after that, what if it were, what if it were easy? Uh, question and sit back and enjoy the benefits. This is a very powerful tool. It does work. It may not work instantly, but work with this one and over time, you're gonna actually feel the shift in your mind and things will start to present, well, <laughs> more easy. All right, guys, number six, read something positive. So what the heck does reading something positive have to do with do this every single day so you can lose more weight and be healthier and look your best? I get it. So. There's a lot of negative crap out there in the tabloids, in the media, in the news. That crap weighs on your mind. It weighs you down after time. 
if you were to wake up every single day, you know, for the first five minutes, and maybe just take a moment to read something positive, you're going to set the guideline for the rest of your day right then and there. You're already taking in positive information. So you're waking up, you read something positive, now your mind starts to think along the terms of, okay, happiness, positivity. You'll be amazed the things you can create and the situations you'll attract into your life when you're more of a positive person. So why is this going to help you lose weight every single day? Because you're going to stay away from the stress. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people, myself included, because I'm not immune to any of this stuff, people will stress eat. People will stress eat. They'll go for things that are high in sugar and high in fat, processed, not really good for them because it's that temporary feeling. It's that dopamine rush that makes them feel better because, yeah, I ate this thing. It was really, really good. I feel better. <clears throat> Hour later, man, I have no energy. I feel like crap. Why did I eat that? Happens all the time, guys. So start out with a day positive, and you're going to see this domino effect of just more positive things happening in your life, and you're actually going to start to avoid and stay away from the negative things. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Number seven, practice cleanliness. So what the heck does practicing cleanliness have to do with this? Check it out, guys. I'm drinking water. Mmm. Clean water. Ooh, I'm getting alkalizing my body. <laughs> all right. In all seriousness. So cleanliness is godliness. Godliness is awesome. <laughs> That's not where I'm going with this. Sorry. I haven't found just messing around here a little bit, guys. Got to make it interesting, right? Keep you on your toes. Okay. So being clean, guys, when you have a clean working environment, a clean living environment, I think you'll agree that you're going to be a little bit less stressed. When you have high levels of stress, no matter what's going on in your life, you have elevated levels of cortisol. Elevated levels of cortisol from stress can actually inhibit and knock down your immune system a peg or two, okay? So think of all the healthy, successful people that you know in your life or that you see on TV or wherever. You read about them. Maybe you. People who have their things together, they have their life together, they're generally in you know, good shape and good health and they take care of themselves, their environments are very clean. Everything is organized to put away in its place. Not all the time, because I live a pretty healthy lifestyle. I can tell you right now, having a couple of kids and the dog, <laughs> stuff goes everywhere. It happens, but I'm always cleaning. I'm always putting things in order and finding order and ways to create order and cleanliness in my life because I just do. And I'm a generally pretty healthy person. But not just me. I want you guys to think for yourselves. Like I said, maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's somebody else. Typically, somebody who has their life together and everything is clean and neat and orderly, you know, they're also going to be have a stronger immune system. They're not going to be living in filth. You know, they're going to have a better chance at not even getting sick in the first place. I mean, think about that, guys. Think about, you know, like a, like, like a college frat house. You know, I've been to a couple of those. They're disgusting. And the guys are drinking and partying and things are a mess and all these people are coming over. People aren't washing their hands. Guys are getting more sick. Girls are getting sick, you know, whatever. And I'm not picking anybody. I'm not judging anybody, but just think about that. You know, cleanliness, something as simple as washing your hands, you know, showering every single day, um, you know, not touching your mouth. You know, if you do cough or sneeze, cover up your mouth. All these little things make a huge difference, not just for yourself, but for other people around you. And if you haven't been paying attention to the news lately when this video was created, this is a really big push. It's a big narrative in society right now. Just doing common sense things to keep yourself healthy, to keep the environment, our living spaces more clean, it's going to go a long way. But take all that away from it and just go back to the idea of stress. Stress alone, when you live in a very hectic and chaotic environment, you don't realize it. It does have a negative impact on your psyche and the way you think and the way you perform. And if you want some more research about that, just kind of type these words into Google, look it up. I cannot think of the book right now, but a couple of psychologists have actually talked about what I'm talking about right now. It's just like the order and the cleanliness of your environment actually has a direct impact on how healthy, how successful uh, business relationships and everything that you are. It's kind of crazy, but at the same point, it's common sense that makes a lot of sense. Okay, guys, so what we talk about in this video, a quick recap. We talked about seven things you can do every single day to make sure you lose weight and you are more healthy. Number one, alkalize your body. Number two, increase your healthy bacteria. Number three, avoid processed foods. Number four, you want to exercise. Number five, you want to reframe your objectives. Number six, you want to read something positive. And number seven, you want to practice cleanliness. You guys, I hope you get some value out of this video. I know I put a lot of time and effort in filming and making these. I am working on getting a better studio put together and doing some 
some more outside videos, like, you know, a full day of eating, a day in the life, and just, you know, and I'm out working with clients to show you guys more behind the scenes stuff of what I'm actually doing day in, day out as a dad, as a fireman, as a businessman. There's a lot that goes on. So all you see right now, I understand, is just, you know, this background and myself talking to my iPhone with a little lapel microphone. It's a very simple setup. But I tell you, the more guys and gals who like and comment, subscribe and share, the more I can get this message out and the more that I can do these things. And I know that people are watching and I'm getting some more feedback so I can create the videos that you guys actually want to see. I have gotten some feedback, guys. I really appreciate it, but definitely keep it coming. What you like, what you don't like, you're not going to offend me. You're only going to make me better so I can make you better. You guys, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Until next video, have a wonderful, blessed day, and we will talk to you soon, guys. Peace out.